Finally, there can be trust between us, and not a moment too soon. As we speak, our forces are working with the Republic to end the Levenite threat and take the temple. In spite of our obvious differences, and the fact we're at war, you were able to inspire a sort of cooperation I never imagined possible. Credit where it's due. You succeeded where Darth Maul and I failed. But we aren't finished yet. There is one element even our combined militaries will be unable to stop. Revan. Given his failure, he'll try to escape, to regroup. That cannot be allowed to happen. Consider it taken care of. heels far too long. I knew the Rishi plan was a long shot, but I had to try. I had to make it legitimate. I needed to lure you in. You were supposed to stay busy on Rishi long enough for me to finish here, but no! You couldn't do that, could you? Something you should understand when it comes to me. I don't doodle. No, apparently not. I thought you more than anyone would comprehend just how much is at stake. I spent 300 years in lockstep with the Emperor's mind. I know what he's become, what he wants. The Emperor must be destroyed completely or he will return and consume every last living thing. There's no cost too great. If I have to snuff out every life on this world by hand to draw the Emperor out, then so be it! If you're Revan, who spoke to me outside the temple? Of course. It's so obvious now. You have no idea what I am, what I've become. I was a Dark Lord of the Sith. I was the Prodigal Knight. I was powerful. But I was also weak. Not anymore. Now I'm pure, unburdened. I can finally have revenge on my jailer and save the galaxy doing it. I have the power, and you have nothing! You are wrong, Red. He has powerful allies. Both Sith and Jedi. Allies from all corners of the galaxy. <laughs> Shay Vizsla? Heard the fight to end all fights was going down. What sorry kind of Mando would I be if I missed out? You were saying? I don't care how many of you there are. I won't be denied my destiny. I am Revan! Feeding me. You let the real enemy linger on. You... You doom the galaxy! Had you been successful, had you brought the Emperor back, you would have made the galaxy's destruction all but a certainty. He's right, you know. No. Not you. You've been so blinded by your unchecked rage, your thirst for vengeance, 
that you could not see the truth. Now that your power has subsided, I may finally confront you. I only hope you will listen. You're both reverend. Yes, though neither of us is truly reverend. When I died, I had come to terms. I was ready to become one with the Force. But I soon realized that was only what part of me wanted. I cast you out! It was the only way to go on! To remain and finish what we started! You were holding me back! You think you're stronger this way, but you're not. Neither of us is. We're broken. We can't go on like this. I won't stop. Not until I conjure the Emperor. I have to face him. <laughs> you wanted my return. You did not need to destroy whole fleets or turn a living world barren for that. You only had to point the Empire and Republic to a shared adversary and let them do what they do naturally. Make war. The scores of dead have nourished me. I am awakened, and I bring with me was not as strong as he might have been had Revan succeeded. But he was strong enough. No! He was supposed to face me. Too... You're too weak. You won't last. I... If we unite, what I am, won't it fade? Become diminished? Dark Lord, even I look in awe at your accelerated rise to power. You did not get where you are today through kindness or moderation. It has served you well. You make a fine example. I don't know if I'm ready. You have to be. We have to. your center I have for the first time in a long time thank you for all you've done and for all you've shown me dark days lie ahead the darkest days if my error can't be undone everyone will pay the price brace for the worst So I guess this is goodbye. I suppose so. It's been an experience, Theron. Be well to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you too, Lana. Try not to get into too much trouble, all right? That looks like you're finally getting rid of me. How's it feel? All things considered, we accomplished a lot working together. We did, didn't we? Yeah. Well... Seems weird to wish you good luck, so, uh, give my regards to the Dark Council. And then there were two. And then there were two. It's a wonder we're even here, considering all we've had to endure. When I was advisor to Darth Arcus, I would never have imagined any of this. Your service to the Empire won't be overlooked. No, it won't. It hasn't. Darth Ma has taken notice of my accomplishments. It would seem he has plans for my future. What those plans look like, I can't say. What's clear is I'll need to re-establish order in my life. That means doing away with any intricate entanglements. Come on. That's overkill. 
Please don't make this any more difficult than it already is. You've been close to me like no other. Whatever may come to pass between us, don't ever forget that. If this is our last moment, let's make it one to remember. Next time you gotta fight that juicy, you know how to reach me. Good luck, you two. Going somewhere. We're headed back to Rishi! Chikaro, I thought you hated that place. <laughs> Chikaro wishes to whip those sorry Raiders Cove pirates into shape. He sees a real opportunity there. You'll have your work cut out for you. As invaluable as you've been helping us, I'm not too worried. <laughs> Jakaro thanks you for your kind words. <laughs> what? Oh, you know I hate it there. That's why we're going, isn't it? Just to torture me. <laughs> Darth Ma, you wanted a word. We suffered many casualties upon the Emperor's return, though nothing insurmountable. Nothing compared to what we would have endured had the River Knights been successful. You are to be commended, of course. But it was Lana Benico's guile and intellect that made your participation at all possible. That is why I have placed Lana in charge of Sith intelligence. I can't think of a better choice. Thank you, my lord. That will be all for now. The Empire grows ever stronger. The mining of Isotope 5 has bolstered our energy independence and we're free from concern over the threat of Revan and his followers. That's only part of the story. Yes, our momentary truce is over. We remain at war with an emboldened Republic, and we still have countless enemies, both seen and unseen. Political deceit is to be expected, but we have had a full-blown traitor in our midst. Darth Arcus has fostered a new level of mistrust among us. You sought to destroy the Revanites. Of all the Dark Council, the only one I can genuinely trust is you, Darth Nox. I am the only one you need to trust. The rest can be kept in check. Agreed. The Empire is whole once more. It grows and strengthens. Our obstacles are severe, but they are known to us. The galaxy is ours to grasp. Let us reach!